Ooh, yeah. Okay, I think all three of these might be hits just off of what I've been picking up so far. Peace be with you everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Trevor, very grateful to have you here. And today's video is going to be a first impressions of a Middle Eastern haul. This is a Joma Shop haul. Uh, shout out to them, not affiliated in any way, but really appreciate their price and good service. Um, so I've got three fragrances here that I'm gonna get first impressions on. I have heard that, as with oftentimes is the case with Middle Easterns, that the maceration does help to develop the scent profile. So again, these are first impressions. Don't take too much uh, credence in them and uh, maybe subscribe and look forward to my weekly rotation videos in the future to kind of get some updates on my wearing experiences with these as time goes on. Um, so we're just going to start off here with this first one, Casablanca. I think I first got recommended this one by Bowtie Fragrance Guy. So shout out to you, Darian. I'm going to go ahead and throw this one on. Um, I've got nothing on my left arm here today so far. So I'm going to be using that to put these three on skin. Um, here we go. Swiss Arabian. I think all three of these are Swiss Arabian. So this is technically a Swiss Arabian haul. Um, so Casablanca here, I think this might be more feminine leaning or it's more popular in the feminine circles. So uh, it's maybe one of the reasons you don't see it recommended as much. But uh, here it's a really nice sort of fruity uh, green apple style fragrance. And that's one of my favorite notes for this time of the year in the autumn. Uh, red and green apples in general. It's like apple picking season here in the Midwest. Um, so got that one on it does smell very pleasant in the air though um, I will say uh, the next one this one I picked up off of Persilaze's recommendation um, he featured this on one of his um, I think love at first sniffs or uh, top 10 Middle Eastern something of that nature um, I, I just remember seeing this mentioned on his channel uh, again, one you're not going to probably hear much about because it is a, uh, an attar oil. Um, so this is going to have a dipper stick and something that I'm going to have to apply. Um, now, one of the things about the attar oils, uh, they're highly concentrated and part of their functionality uh, outside of spray cologne is that these are meant to stay on your skin after you wash your hands because for... Uh, to go into the prayer in the Middle East or like in Islam, like you have to um, kind of like wash your feet and your hands and it's like just sort of like a, a show of respect to the um, seriousness of like what you're about to be engaging in. Um, sort of like you're, you're going before royalty so you want to um, present yourself well. So like these are meant to survive uh, washing your hands and feet and neck um, throughout the day multiple times per se. Uh, so this is really interesting silk bag um, presentation or packaging here. It's like kind of difficult to get out. Uh, these are all cheapies though, so these are all under forty dollars. I want to say. Um, so okay, there's a rope tied around here. That's why it was difficult to get out. And beautiful presentation on this. It's only one ounce, so I think 30 mLs, uh, if that, um, or 25 mLs. So uh, very low concentration, but because it's an oil, you you really only need a dab, like one to two dabs out of this. Um, and the classic little dipper stick there. So I'm just gonna put this one on the inside of my wrist here. It's usually how I apply these and um, then uh, if I were to use this as my scent of the day, I would take this dab on my wrist here and put it behind my ears, the one on my neck, maybe one on my chest, and then sort of maybe rub my things like this, just off that one drop. Um, so uh, I'll probably just let that one sit there um, for now because I don't want to get it too spread around because this is not intended to be my scent of the day. but. Um, yeah, I think this, uh, if I remember correctly, might have been in one of Persilaze's autumnal um, videos. So, so I picked it up. All three of these were meant to kind of explore some autumn cheapies here for 2023, uh, get my toes wet in the market a little bit. And then finally, the last one that I'm going to be putting on skin before we start to really dig our nose in is going to be this one, Shigaf Oud Asrak. Uh, first heard about this one from Smelly Cat. 
Um, shout out to him. I hear that this is a clone of Montal's uh, Honey Oud. Um, haven't smelled that one, but uh, really beautiful presentation here. Lovely, almost like uh, felt looking blue bottle here. It's not made out of felt. It's all like a solid metal, but it's got this sort of sheen to it that looks like a, maybe like a Dolce & Gabbana box. Uh, really nice uh, kind of plastic cap. It looks it looked like it was metal, um, but let's go ahead and finally get this one on skin as well. We're just going to put this one, get a few of those intro shots out, and oh, that one smells really nice in the air as well. Ooh, yeah. Okay, I think all three of these might be hits just off of what I've been picking up so far. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the Casablanca. Hmm. It's very light, fruity. I can see why it would be a feminine appeal fragrance. But it's reminding me a bit of things like Cartier Linval and One Million Lucky. It's got this light, airy, breathy, uh, like, there's a lot of, like, um, breath an airiness to a light sweetness. It's like almost like a floral sweetness. Floral fruity. But it's got a little bit of like almost like a, a warm bready quality to it. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. All right. Let's check this uh, Oud Asrak. This is interesting because it does have a little bit of that barnyardy style skanky oud in it, but um, the way that it's mixing with the honey is very nice. It reminds me a little bit of kind of like the way that that plays together in um, Whispered Myths from Imaginary Authors, which is another honey oud fragrance. That one's got cantaloupe though, which pulls it all together. I'm not too sure about uh, Oud Asrak right now just because of the Oud in there is like very uh, it's an acquired taste um, I'll have to see if that one fades um, throughout the wearing experience if it's just like an opening sort of thing yeah I don't know how I feel about this one yet I do like the composition I I'm personally someone that's kind of like a fan of Oud but it's coming coming out a little bit sour and um, like something that costs $35, but I'll have to give that one some more time. So far, not my favorite. And then finally, the, um, uh, sorry, I forgot to mention the name of this one. This is uh, Mohalak Maliki, and I think it just means like King Blend. Mohalak is like a uh, blend, and then Maliki is like a king or a, a ruler. Um, mm. Okay, so this one is uh, smells pretty effeminate as well, but easily unisex, soft. Could even be like an office fragrance. Hmm. Definitely looking forward to uh, letting these all macerate and seeing how that develops. I think these would all be really great for the autumn time for sure. Again, the Uda, uh, yeah, the uh, Shagaf Oud Azrach is um, the only one that I'm finding a little bit challenging right now. But still pleasant, and I could see um, being a lot more delectable as the weather starts to cool down. So far, I think the Casablanca might be my favorite. But this one, ah, it's, oh man. This is uh, very high quality for the price, though. Very beautiful. Okay, so I actually think this one is going to be my winner here. Um, the only marks I would say against it are that it is um, an Atar an oil and not a cologne spray. Uh, this one, uh, thank you, Bowtie Fragrance Guy, this one ended up being quite delicious as well. I'm going to try and fix the lighting real quick. The sun's uh, moving in the sky and just kind of putting a glare 
on the cameras here. So I'm gonna uh, wrap this video up at on that note. And um, again, like I said, uh, subscribe and look forward to my weekly rotation videos that I do, I, usually on Mondays. And uh, we'll be getting some future looks at these fragrances and my wearing experiences with them then and there. Uh, let me know if you've had any experience with these in the comments section down below, what your thoughts on them are, if the maceration has helped, if you've owned them for a while. And as always, I really appreciate you sticking with me to the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.